Welcome to episode 69 of the MR Running Pains podcast. As always, this is Aaron Saft, and today I have the wrap-up of my conversation, experience, race uh, at the Old Dominion 100 with Michael Harms. Um, if, 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 if you have not listened to the previous episode, episode 68 in my conversation with Michael Harms prior to the race, I suggest that you press pause right now and go back and listen to the episode. Um, you know, I want you to hear the backstory of Michael, um, our relationship, where that formed. So please, you know, take a moment, go back and listen to the episode. If you have not, if you have, um, man, what, what a day, what an experience, um, I am still raw with emotion. Um, I don't know if uh, if I can make it through uh, <laughs> this, even this intro, without uh, welling up a little bit. Um, no, 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 no wounds. I'm not licking my wounds here. Um, you know, not to be a spoiler, but um, I did not finish. But Michael, 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 Michael had an amazing day. Um, I was with him for um, roughly 75 miles of it, um, and I got to see him finish. Uh, you're going to hear that story. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> um, <laughs> whew. Um, I can't tell you what it meant to see his family um, and to see him cross the finish line. Um, it meant more to me than my race could have. Uh it was beautiful. It was, it captured the essence of running. Whew. Sorry. It was phenomenal. It was one of those moments where you just feel all the love in the world and all the joy in the world. Nothing could have been wrong. And that's why I say I have no wounds. I just felt so good for him. Uh, and these are tears of happiness and joy for him. Uh, I, you know, I said it in my last time, the emotion's evident, you know, uh, just the happiness I felt for him, um, you know, out there and being a part of that experience, it, it couldn't have, it couldn't have been any better. Um, I have a few closing words after our conversation. And, uh, you know, after we go through what happened during the race, um, you know, I have a few more thoughts um, to kind of close with uh, after having some some retrospect and time to reflect, um, you know, and and really think about what went on. You know, as I said, there's there's no ill in in my heart (laughs) for not finishing, you know, not to the race, not to anything that happened. I, you know, I I cherish those experiences. So. Um, but I want you to hear this conversation and, and know, you know, that I am extremely, extremely happy and proud of Michael and what he did out there. Um, I'm proud of myself. (laughs) We don't often say that, but I am, um, I'm proud of myself for, for making it through what I did. Um, and you know, and you'll hear my story about my son and I, he was my safety runner and, and our, our episode with a rattlesnake. That's towards the end of the episode, um, and that's what you know finally took me out of this race. Um, it took me a lot to get to that point, and it, I didn't want to quit, but you know I, I felt it the best decision. So um, here's our story. I hope you enjoy it, and I'll talk to you at the end. How did you feel it went overall? I mean, yeah, o- overall, I would say well. I think it went uh, really well, um, con- uh, considering you know, like the heat, it was, it was even hotter than, you know, we even, I think when we even talked just a few days before it was the high, I think it was supposed to be maybe 82, but it ended up being closer to 90 you know, or something, right. um, or at 90. So, uh, considering that and, and the many low points I did have, <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm very happy that I was able to, you know, that, 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 it, that it finished, got in under that 24, got that buckle. So, uh, yeah, I have to say it, you know, it went well. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. And looking back at, at your goals, um, where did that fall in your, um, ABC? Yeah. So my A goal was 
22 hours, um, if you remember. So, which I, which I, like I said at the time I knew is really ambitious, but that's like what I like to do and set out for. And that was kind of going to involve going out a little bit, maybe faster than maybe I should. <laughs> um, so, uh, and then my B goal was under 23 and then the, the C goal was sort of 24 and then the everything after goal was just finished, <laughs> um, which they have a 28 hour cutoff. So it was 28 hours for that. Um, yeah, the, uh, so, so I ended up getting, um, 2253, just under 23 hours. So I ended up hit, hitting that B goal. Um, yeah. So yeah, I was, I'm super happy, um, with that. I, I, and you know, 20 miles in the A goal was still looking okay, but you know, the heat of the day hadn't hit yet. <laughs> and then I think it was right. basically like five or 10 miles later. It was like, okay, uh, yeah, I'm going to be slowing down. <laughs> so all of a sudden it was like, you know, switching gears. Um, but there was a period there, a good period there where it was looking like 24 hours was slipping away. Um, so again, I'm, I'm pleased with how it went. That's awesome. Yeah. That's yeah. So, awesome. um, so, well, let's, let's take it all the way back. Um, <laughs> um <laughs> what, uh, <laughs> we got a little Oliver bit in the back. back. <laughs> yeah. That's Oliver in the back there. <laughs> how about they? <laughs> so awesome. Um, so, um, it, we, uh, we got there. I mean, it's a 4 a.m. start, so we saw each other dark and early. <laughs> yep. Um, and um, I mean, it, it's like uh, you know, it's it's such a kind of unceremonious um, start to such a, a, a momentous occasion. You know, I mean, it was it was nice in the regard. We said a prayer, which was nice. You know. Yep. But I mean, you know, it's it's so dark and everybody's <laughs> so groggy and tired. Yeah. But um, what were you feeling at the start? Uh I, I, you know, that, that mix of, of, um, excited, uh, nervous, um, um, definitely the most nervous I've been for a race in a long time. Um, especially because like, you know, hopes here and done so much and my family's like, you know, following along cause she was going to update them and, you know, you don't want to let anybody down. Um, and then uh, uh, there was some relief, even though, too, that just making it to the start line healthy um, right. because, you know, I, I, I'd had a couple injuries along the way. And, um, and, and honestly, this was the, the best I felt before it um, can, compared to the other three, uh, three races I did leading up to this. So, um, so yeah, but um, – but I mean, really just excited. I, I honestly was pretty excited just to get started, um, and see, see what happened, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll kind of take people through the race. So sure. Uh, and we started out together and I mean, I, I was, um, I think I was taken aback at how fast some people started. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. We, uh, we do a, a lap on that, that dirt track and, I mean, there was, you know, somebody that had really just taken it out, 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 out the front. And I was like, wow, that's, yeah. you know, pretty impressive. Um, but, yeah, we, we settled in nice together. And um, um, Jasmine, um, you know, kind of joined us. And we had, like, a nice little trio. Um, and we got out onto the streets. And we are kind of running along. And, you know, I honestly, I didn't anticipate to see the pace that we were running, we were running, you know, like sub sub eight forty five. We were kind of in the eight thirties, um, which I didn't expect to see because I mean, when I started Umstead, I mean, like I was, you know, I was felt like I was jogging and I was hitting nine thirties, and I felt like I was jogging there. Yeah, you know, we were on the road, so it's you know a little different, but yeah. Um, that did that feel comfortable to you? It did. Yeah, I, I was th like, so that's what I was talking about in the first podcast of like uh, with pacing and not being sure, like I was, I, 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 I felt good at that pace. That pace feels good, but I also, um, knew I, that's, you know, I'm going to be a lot slower later. And so it was like, do I intentionally slow down now, even though this is a road section and this, you know, eight thirty feels fine, you know? So I was kind of questioning the whole time, like, 
you know, like, should I be going slower <laughs> um, to save something? I, you know, but it was like, it just felt good. Um, and ultimately it was like, eh, you know, I got good company who cares? Like <laughs> so if I pay for it later, whatever. <laughs> um, but no, yeah, it was feeling fine. Um, but, you know, everything feels fine. Only a mile or two or three in on a road, a flat road. Right. You know? yeah. yeah. But then, then we hit a good climb. Um, yeah. Yeah. That was, um, you know, that was like, wow, this is, um, you know, I was like, what, four miles in we, we basically started climbing up the ridge side. Yeah. Um, parts paved part, part dirt. Yep. Um, and then, um, I mean, we were, we were all just really hiking, you know? Um, yeah. you know, none of us really, I mean, some of the front runners may have been, may have been running at that point, but I mean, we, we switched all to hiking. Yeah. Um, and, um, we got up over the ridge and, um, <clears throat> and, you know, uh, Jasmine was still there. We kind of accordion for a little bit <laughs> and you yeah, uh, yeah. back up with us. And then, yeah. um, we got to, uh, the first bit of single track, um, which, um, was on the, this little loop, um, there was a little aid station there. And then you, you and I kind of had, we were running together and, um, I think Jasmine, I think Jasmine was behind us at that point. Yeah. Uh, but um, she uh, uh, she caught back up when we got out of the loop and onto the road. Yeah. Um, and that's kind of when I started really noticing the the heat coming on. I don't know if you did, but. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, yeah. no, definitely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was getting warm. But when we popped out, um, you know, we had another little road section and we were on our way to see you know, our respective wives. Um, what was going through your head? Were you, were you anticipating that? Yeah, I, I still was feeling pretty good at that point, but it was, like you said, it, it was exactly like you said. Like when we, that second, after we got off the single track, the single track was great. I just, I love being on the trail. I, it's, I'm, I, this, this one is so much, it's like 60% dirt roads. And I definitely realized early on, like that's, I, I'm that's a weakness for me is running on the dirt roads. <laughs> like the trails were my strength. Um, so, uh, yeah, I loved that little bit of single track that we got there. And then when we got back on the road, it was, it was, it was starting to heat back up and I was like, Oh man, this is, yeah, I'm going to be slowing down here. Um, but I still felt pretty good, you know? So, um, and I was super excited to see hope. Um, you know, there was a little bit of nerves there for me too. This is her first time crewing doing any of this, you know, um, and she was by herself. Uh, she, she's so capable though. I mean, you know, it's, it shouldn't have worried at all, but you know, still it's, it's my wife. So I was, you know, a little bit nervous. I wanted to make sure she made it okay and everything was fine. Um, so I was just real excited and relieved to see her. She was there. She had everything ready. She was so on point. I mean, honestly, like just I'll, my whole race report would start off with like the performance of the day by far <laughs> was, was, was my crew hope. Um, I mean, she was, absolutely on point i know we'll get to the end of the race stuff later but especially at the end of the race um but yeah so i was i was just really excited to see her and that was a uh, about 20 miles in yep um and then we were, we we took out of there together you know and started covering the next um miles together and again kind of accordion back and forth with uh yeah <laughs> with jasmine but you know it seemed that we were we were the trio yeah uh, <laughs> And, um, let's see. So that, that next section, you know, it just, <laughs> it seemed like that, you know, the sun just like started to yeah. find its way <laughs> onto, onto our backs. Like it just couldn't find enough shade. Um, well, it was a lot of dirt roads then mm -hmm. and, uh, and open ones, not like, like even in the, uh, the, the first 20 miles, the dirt roads that led to that first single track, a lot of that was still kind of shaded though. Cause it was, you know, you were in kind of in the more denser forest, but then, then after 20, you're kind of in more like that farmland. So it's yep. all cleared land. So there wasn't, there wasn't really any shade and, and it was yeah. heating up yeah. and, and yeah, yep. man, it was, it was hot. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, as they say, um, before the race, not, in their website at all their aid stations were just so basic yeah um you know I, I was glad that you know I, I got to beth and got some food because 
those aid stations. I mean, it was water Gatorade. And then like, you know, at, at the beginning, it was more just like, we got some cookies and some pretzels, but <laughs> you know, like, yep. it was really, you know, just so simplistic. I mean, yeah. You know, we really had to rely on our own stuff. I mean, I don't know if you were, were you picking off the aid station at all at that point early in the race? No, no, not at all. I mean, just water. I was just refilling my bottles. I refilled my bottles for a spe- starting there. I was refilling both bottles every chance I got. Um, yeah, but that was it. Not eating anything from them, really. And you kept picking into uh, a plastic bag. What were you grabbing? <laughs> like after I would see Hope? No, I like, you know, I noticed, especially later in the race, like, yeah, uh, that, like, you know, every 25 minutes for to take something in. But yep. it always sounded like you were pulling out like a plastic bag. I, that's why I put my trash. Because oh. <laughs> sometimes if I shove the gels, just it, the packets in, it gets all sticky and, 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 and then everything gets just a mess. So a lot of times if I have a little Ziploc or something, and I'll also kind of double it up there too. If I do take food from an aid station, um, I think I heard this trick from AJW, uh, Andy Jones Wilkins on a podcast once, like have a little Ziploc so you can grab from the aid station, toss it in and you can eat on the run. So you don't sit there for a while. Um, so yeah, I kind of just had that with me and I was just shoving <laughs> stuff in there. <laughs> yeah. Well, Jasmine was hysterical. She's like, uh, did you taste the water? Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, I didn't notice anything. <laughs> no, I never do, man. My wife does that too. So like, she's like, she's like, I don't like this water, you know, but I never notice. <laughs> but then again, I think I told you guys the story of my analogy and that she finally washed for me because it had been, I guess, weeks. I don't know the last time. And she was like, it was literally like a fish tank and, yeah, I was my like, I, green. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I thought that it was just permanently stained green. I didn't know it could get clear again. I mean, it's, I mean, you can see it's pristine now. <laughs> That's great. Oh man, so, I mean, like, you know, the race it just seemed um, pretty, pretty nonchalant, you know, and um, everything was cool. We came into, um, I'm trying to remember. Um, let's see. Um, the um was it four points where we came into twice yes okay yep. so 33 um, and then like around 33 and then 47 okay so when we came in at, at 33 um you know i was like ah this you know this hasn't been too bad <laughs> um, yeah you know i mean for for you know just being over 50k and i'm like ah you know this you know hasn't been real bad but i mean you know it's got fourteen thousand feet so i'm like where is this going to come in? <laughs> and then, you know, pretty much we went up and, uh, you know, went up the road and got into some single track and it's a good little climb up that mountain, you know, yeah. it, that, that surprised me. I was like, Whoa, you know, and it, it was pretty rocky and stuff. Um, and then it was a long descent on the, on the road, yeah. uh, you know, to get back into the woods. And, you know, when you got down to, uh, there was like a car set up and they just had like, you know, a little bit of a basic aid just in case you needed to top off or something. Cause they were like, I don't know if there's a, uh, there's people that are supposed to pack mule in their aid station. She's like, I don't, we don't know if they're there. You know, we never yeah. had a competition. And I was like, Oh great. So like, you know, I, my bottles were filled because I think what did that section, was it like three or four miles that we had just done that loop to get to the something like that? Yeah. It wasn't much. Right. So I, I was like, I really didn't touch my bottles yet. I should be okay. Um, but you know, that, that, that was a, whew, that next section that just, that's where I like, I was like, Oh, here it is. This is, <laughs> this is where, <laughs> where, you know, it really, it started to really, you know, wrench me. I was like, and it was not necessarily the vert, but the footing. Uh, yeah. you know, if, if anybody has gone into that area of Virginia, uh, like mass and nothing or anything like that, it just, Oh my Lord. Like, I just didn't want to move fast. Cause I was like, I was afraid I was going to get hurt, you know, just like, yeah. plus the heat. Right. Uh, just, that's where everything kind of hit me. I was like, wow, this is like, you know, it, not necessarily like a lull, but uh, at the same time, I was like, I need to be conservative through here. And I mean, surprisingly I passed like a ton of people and I was just like, and I like, I didn't think I was going hard cause I was hiking a ton, but um, yeah. did, did you find the same in that section? Yeah. Yeah. It was, uh, yeah, the same. Um, the heat was definitely getting to me by that point. Um, and, uh, so yeah, that was a tough section. Like, cause like up to that point, I was actually like still a little bit ahead of the, my, the schedule that I had made. Cause we came into 20, like 30 minutes ahead for me. Um, what I was planning on. 
to hit 20, to, the schedule I had to hit, to be able to hit 22 hours. Okay. And, uh, so even coming in then to four points one at like 33, I was still, I think I around 30 minutes ahead. Almost. I had like, I ran the next section basically in what I had planned on, but then from four points one to four points two, I lost some of that time that, that I had, mm -hmm. uh, gained. Um, because yeah, that, that section was tough. It was rocky. Um, and just the heat was getting to me. I, I didn't realize it at the time. And well, I still don't know for certain, but I'm, I'm thinking now in retrospect, just seeing how the, the rest of the race went and some things that I changed. Um, I think I, w I just wasn't drinking enough, even though I, was, I felt like I was drinking so much, but, and that was causing me to, to struggle with my nutrition. Um, so I wasn't eating quite enough too. Um, yep. And so, yeah, I was, I was hitting some pretty big lows during that point. Like I was behind you at that point. Mm -hmm. um, remember? Yeah. So, so that, that was a tough section. It's still though, being on the trail though, just that, just that alone though was helpful. Um, mm -hmm. I, I, I wouldn't yep. really, it wouldn't really, I wasn't really feeling like I was suffering bad until we get out like on the, those exposed dirt roads again. And yep. then I'm just like, Oh man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I, I agree with you too. That's, that's exactly where I started to fall behind because as we popped out of the, uh, the trail and hit that aid station, you know, I, I filled up my bottles cause I grabbed a Gatorade there and, and to, to go back the, the, um, the mule that we were talking about, those, that couple did get in there, yep. you know, did ride in, they had some, uh, small Gatorade bottles. And I grabbed one. Um, I should have, I didn't, <laughs> <laughs> um, but well, by the time I got to the aid station at the far end, I was completely out of everything. I had drank yeah. and, you know, everything and I was behind on my fluids. Um, same as you, my stomach was not, you know, not happy. I wasn't able to kind of get the calories down. I tried to stop at that aid station and just refuel and take a moment, you know, get some, um, some fluids back. I think I chugged the whole bottle of water and then filled up again and then, you know, put everything in uh, my bottle. So I had that for that next section back to, uh, four points two. um, eat some food, try, you know, try to get some stuff down. They, uh, thankfully they had a little bit more at that aid station. They started having some yeah. fruit and stuff like that. Um, so they, that was, that was super helpful. Um, but that next, it was a dirt road all the way to four points two and I was moving well, but I started to get tugs in my hamstrings and you know, that, that was, I was like, oh, crap. Like I, I'm, I'm behind on my, my fluids and, and I drank all my fluids again before I got to 4.2, but like I already knew I was so far behind. So I stayed longer, way longer than I really wanted to, but I needed to stay at 4.2. You know, you came in, um, and, uh, I was just, you know, I was just kind of sitting there, uh, in the shade, just trying to, to get things back together. Cause I was just like, oh crap, like, uh, you know, like, it's not good to be cramping this early, <laughs> you know, yeah. it's, it's, I was like, oh, like that's, you know, not a good sign. Yeah. Uh, so Beth was just trying to get, you know, fluids in me and food in me and, and, you know, you know, take care of all that stuff. And, um, uh, you know, I, I looked over at you and I was like, I'm just going to start walking. I'm sure you'll catch me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Jasmine had told us, she's like, this next section, you know, we, we can nail right. this section. We're going to be sub 10 and, and I'm getting her on this podcast. You can ding, we'll bet that she's coming on here because I'm going to give her, you know what, for <laughs> telling us that we can crank up this next section. I saw her the next day at the awards like breakfast thing and I was letting her know. I was like, Aaron was cursing you that for like, I mean, at least 15, 20 miles <laughs> like because of that. Yeah, so, it was um, not, we were not running 10 minute miles. <laughs> no, no. Well, I mean, you know, like she was like, this is flat you know it's totally runnable she's like we're gonna make up some time here and i mean it was, like all know, it was all uphill yeah i was like what is she talking about like we climbed forever and a day yeah, yeah. and like, i mean we were just steadily climbing and i was just like huh i like i don't, I don't understand but she she did well that down that section obviously yeah uh, yeah i mean she ran extremely well through there she she picked up a ton of time but I mean, it was, you know, it was beautiful up top there. I mean, that was probably one of my favorite sections of the course was, you know, when we got up on the the top there and, you know, it was like where they had done the controlled burn. I thought that was so pretty. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah. Um, and I mean, we had a great time. I mean, you and I were just kind of chatting and stuff. And uh, that aid station, when we, we got up to uh, the turn up there that, you know, they had the ice pops. And I think yes. that, that was like, oh, this is, you know, this is heaven. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I think that was like, that was probably the, the hottest we had been yet. Um, cause I mean, we were, you and I were both doing ice buffs and like, I mean, it was yeah. just, 
it was so hot. And I mean, you know, we were filling water bottles as often as we could, but I mean, like, you know, I, I, I was, you know, I was talking to Beth. I was like, I, you know, I, I didn't, you know, carry enough water. We were trying to do the assessment and I, I did not, you know, have enough fluids or drink enough fluids and I didn't drink enough early, uh, yeah. which, you know, that's, that was part of the problem. But, um, I think that walk, like it, my hamstrings didn't pull, <laughs> um, cause you and I were kind of just running and, you know, we came down that hill, um, and, uh, um, I, I didn't have any pulls then, which was, you know, that <laughs> I was relieved, but, um, you were coming down that and that brought us, um, let's see where that, that brought us to the, uh, um, Oh, to right before the ATV trail. Right. Is that right? What, yes. Edinburgh gap. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Brought, oh yeah. Gosh. So, um, yeah, we got down in there and I, you know, I kind of just did the same thing. Um, you know, tried to get some more fluids in me again i spent way too much time but i mean it was it was definitely needed i was not doing well with the heat um yeah. like when you got in there <laughs> you look much better than i felt <laughs> i'll give you that <laughs> <laughs> i'm surprised to hear that but yeah <laughs> you, i i did like i'm just gonna hit the aid station then i'm, I'm moving on but i think yeah. you were also i mean you knew that the end of the next section you were going to see your kids so exactly um, you know, I, I like I, I was uh, I, I think I was in a, <laughs> a definite low point. But, um, you know, having you go ahead gave me something to look forward to is catching back up. But yeah, um, what did you think of that section? Because, I mean, I've got my own curse words for it. But <laughs> <laughs> well, well, uh, yeah, you well, going back to four points, too. I okay. kind of took a cue from you and did take long, longer like wait, like I was not planning on taking long at any stops, but it was like I'm hurting. I'm behind on fluids. So I drank a ton and I ate a bunch. Um, and so I did feel pretty good, you know, um, for the next section to Edinburgh gap. Like I felt okay. Um, the heat was still getting to me and then it, it just so quickly I would get back behind on fluids, I guess, again, yeah. I, I, um, you know, I was finishing my bottles before I was getting to the aid stations. So, right. um, so I, yeah. And then, like I said, that was hurting my nutrition and my stomach was just not, feeling good. I, there was a period of time where I thought for sure I was going to, or not for sure, but I just, I thought like I might end up throwing up here soon. <laughs> like I'm feeling pretty bad. Um, but then yeah, leaving Edinburgh gap, um, <laughs> that section, the, the section from Edinburgh gap to the, on that ATV trail, uh, to the aid station where you caught me. Yeah. That was just, uh, rough. That was just brutal. Um, but it, it, it was so rough and crappy and rocky and muddy and ATVs are blowing by and blowing dirt in my face and mud like that. It was just so bad. It's almost good that it was that bad because you just had to like laugh and just like, just be like, oh my gosh, like this just well, is just as bad as it can get. Maybe like I feel terrible. <laughs> I'm literally getting dirt spun up in my face. <laughs> like, you know, like, so um, but it was, that was a rough section and I was not anticipating it being that rough, you know? Um, yeah. but, at, but at the same time, like you said, I knew that at, at 64 miles at little fort that my, my, my family was going to be there. My kids, um, my, my in-laws were bringing the, the four boys, um, to, to see me. So like, I was super motivated. I was just like on a mission. <laughs> so that yeah. was, that was, uh, that pulled me through definitely on that part uh, it, and that was that was my lowest point um obviously up until you know when i dropped but um it, when uh when, when you went up um and uh, you know I, I should also say that i spent so much time in the aid stations because beth would not let me go otherwise like she knew how bad i was hurting <laughs> and yeah you know, what was going on like i i was you know i was definitely behind on fluids i was behind on calories things were not going right so she was trying to make sure that i could keep going yeah yeah, yeah. Could, you know and so when we started hitting those atv trails I, I, like i was trying not to be in my own head you know like yeah I, like it's just trying to stay positive like there were so many times where I was just going to yell, Michael, because <laughs> I, I was just like, this is like, I mean, it was, it was tough. Like, like you said, with everything going on with the ATVs flying by trucks, trying to get by, it was just, it was so much like, I mean, 
after being so quiet for so many miles, you know, other than our conversation, you know, like we, we really didn't have any traffic. Like there were yeah. no cars, no trucks really. I mean, you know, rarely, oh, yeah. but it seemed like that ATV trail was like, <laughs> yeah. no shower, man. like what? <laughs> you know, I was like, no, no joke. Yes. <laughs> like, and, and, like I, I, at one point I, I literally looked up to the sky and I said, God, I, I deserve this for something. You know, I, <laughs> I will take this on. Because I've I've obviously done something <laughs> to to take this type. You of, felt you, know, you were being you know, cursed like, by God. Is, yeah, I, I was like, I will take this on the chin, and you can give it to me on the other side too. I whatever I did, I am sorry <laughs> because it was just like, oh my lord! Like yeah. between the rocks and everything, like you described, it just ah, oh, I was just I was overwhelmed. I will say that. And then when I saw you, dude, I almost broke into tears because I was so happy because I was <laughs> like, oh, thank God, there he is. Because oh, I was. That, yeah, oh, you did. I, the guys at the A station were like, uh, like, what do you need, man? You're like, I just need that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I just need that guy. <laughs> That's all I need right now. Just that guy. Yeah. yeah. You know? <laughs> oh my God. Because it, uh, it just, I don't know, man. I like I the. The uh, the amount of loneliness that I, I felt because of I don't know if it was just because of how much those like ATVs were just like distracting me and and taking yeah. away from you know the experience yeah uh, so uh, the, yeah I, and you helped me so much through that next section because oh, cool. everything was going wrong I, like I, I was trying not to you know make your race go down but my hamstrings were pulling. You remember I was like, yeah. Oh yeah. I remember, like, and they were like, I'm going to keep going. I'm like, and I just like trotted after you. I was like, I'm running you through did. it. <laughs> you never, yeah. I kept, I, cause I could, I could tell like, Oh man, his, yeah, he's hurting. <laughs> like you could, but, but you just uh, kept every time hurting. it was like, you know, like you're like, you go ahead, man, go ahead and run. You know, if you feel like running, run a little bit, but, and I, I would, and you kept right back no. up. So you kept I, pushing I, through, I, dude. I, I, I forced myself and yeah. I can't tell you how many gels I, I threw up on that section because <laughs> I definitely was oh. going down. I was just, I was trying not to do it in front of you. I just turned to my side and like, you know, oh, oh, dang, man. I was, oh, I was rough. I just couldn't wait to get out of there. You know, like yeah. we got to that, like when they are like, Oh, the, the, you know, the next section past that aid station, they're like, it's so much better. And it was, it was it like was. putting up there. Uh, your traffic was definitely less. <laughs> it, um, it couldn't get worse. <laughs> I mean, honestly, no. though, it's like <laughs> if it, it did, I, I would have lost. It was it. better. It was better because it can't get worse than what we just did. <laughs> like right, right, it was right. steep too. That section oh. was steep too. Like it it's was, not like it was it just was. muddy and eighteen. It was really right. like a climb yeah. like, the whole yeah. way. Oh yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> It was, I mean, what a, whoa, man, that, that section, it, it was, it was the, it was trial, man. It was definitely a trial. Yeah. And, you know, I, I think I came through the other side and, and, you know, like I was like, okay, okay. I'm a whole man again. Yeah. yeah <laughs> it, it, took me, it took a piece of me. Um, but yes, no, I mean, you know, getting through that other side, just like you said, when you were looking to your family and, you know, when I saw your kids and Donald, like I, I definitely had a tear in my eye because it was just, it was beautiful. Like that was a beautiful moment. It, it, I, you can, you know, you can touch on that because that, that was a wonderful moment. Oh man. Yeah. Those, as we kept getting closer, like I just, I, you know, I kept looking at my watch and I was like, oh my God. Like when we hit mile like 64, especially, cause then it's like 0.4 or half a mile to there. I just, I felt like I could have sprinted. Like I just felt so good. It's it's crazy. It, it's literally, it was like, I, I, and it was the same way at Elizabeth Furnace at 75 when I saw him again. And after it, it was like a performance enhancing drug, dude. Like I was like, all the pain went away. Everything just melted away. And I was just like ready to run. Um, and then when I did see them, I did start crying a little bit. And I was like, I should, like why am I crying? Like I didn't, I'm not anywhere near finishing. And I'm like in 24 hours, it's like quickly slipping away. Like, but I was just so uh, excited and like they were so you know they were so happy and excited and cheering and luke my little two-year-old is like go daddy go, go daddy. you know like screaming and yep. oh my gosh man it was it was exactly like what i needed i, I don't yeah <laughs> i may not have gotten under 24 hours i think maybe i could have still finished and pushed on but maybe not even that honestly if i didn't if i didn't have that um there and then i got to see him again which like you know I know we'll get to at uh, mile seventy five. So that was yeah. a, a special and perfect moment. Like we had talked about maybe seeing them earlier too, and I'm so glad that that was when I got to see them because it was exactly when it was needed. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> my my kids thought it was just. I mean, even they were mentioning how like you know how much that reunion you know 
was heartfelt. Like it was, oh, cool. you know, they, they were, you know, observing that and they were like, that was, you know, that was amazing. And, yeah, and, you know, to see Donald's recognition of, of me and, you know, oh, yeah. that was, that was tremendous to me too. I, I really, uh, you know, I, it really did make me, it touched me. Yeah. Uh, it was tremendous. Um, and the kids noticed it too. They're like, Donald remembered you. <laughs> and, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, um, but uh, yeah, what a, what a moment. And, uh, like, uh, you know, um, we were, um, we were, you know, we both took our time getting our stuff together there. Yeah. Um, and Beth honestly, wasn't gonna, um, let me leave. I, you know, I needed some more, I definitely needed some more food there. Um, and I should have probably stayed longer, but I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to, missed the opportunity to, you know, get under 24, yeah. but I think that was probably the beginning of my end <laughs> was not <laughs> taking the time there, um, to, cause when I sat down, my calves were already doing the, there's snakes in my calves, you know, they're like, they were yep. jiggling and my, my quads were shaking. I was like, yeah, all right, well, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Um, that, but that was, you know, I knew things were unraveling quickly for me. Yep. Um, but um, we were through that ATV section. That's all I knew. <laughs> we, yeah, were, yeah. we were through that. That's, that made that me was, happy. That, that was fun. behind us. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, we uh, we headed out, back out. And, um, you know, the next section, actually, it surprised me because uh, we, we started walking because we had a, a nice little climb um, up the road again. And then uh, we had a, a nice dirt road to uh, Mud Hole, right? Is that yep. where I'm? Yep. Uh, so, and like when you said, let's start running, I was like, all right, let's see. <laughs> Cause I didn't know if my quads were going to work. Yeah. Uh, how were you doing at that point? Were you, you, you're revitalized from the, the family visit. <laughs> I, I, I was, but what's funny is that, that in actually ended up, uh, <laughs> like that, that feeling wore off. <laughs> uh, and then, uh, I didn't read the, all this, you know, of course, as in retrospect, I was so distracted by the kids. I actually didn't eat and drink as much uh, while I was there yeah. as I would have and yeah. had been at the previous stops. Yep. So actually I kind of quickly like uh, realized like, Oh crap, I'm like low again. I got to eat something. But all I had was like my gels, which, which at that point I was just choking down. I mean, man, that watch would beep every 25 minutes and it was just like, Oh, not again. Yeah. <laughs> like it was, I, I would literally be like, it wasn't it just like five minutes ago. I ate one of these things. Like really? Um, so I was just, yeah. So actually I was, a, a little bit struggling, um, but just wanting to get through. I knew it was like, it's only 10 miles though. Like, you know, to Elizabeth furnace. Um, and, and I was starting to feel, uh, the pressure actually like of like dang 20, 24 hours is, is slipping away. Cause we were slowing like the, so much, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Um, yep. I mean, I mean, like, schedule wise not necessarily like just pace wise but like with um yeah. like and it was like if, if if it continues like this if i keep getting slower and slower yeah. um yeah then i'm then i'm not you know not gonna right. not gonna make it oh yeah so i was yeah. i was starting to feel that um uh too so i was kind of like just forcing myself like all right any chance you can run but even sometimes sometimes that was that was tough i feel like i felt like on that section there was even times though where you were ready to run and i was like i gotta walk i just can't <laughs> um, but i think it was just again the nutrition and hydration right i i let it slip again yep. um behind you know it's hard it is it is and yeah. I, like beth was saying that was you know what was going on even you know people in front of us like people were dropping left and right you know it was just there oh, was really? so, you, you know dropouts because of the, the the same conditions, you know, it's just the heat and, you know, yeah. like it, people are having a hard time with hydration with the, you know, and, and I just wrote this freaking article in my newsletter about being overprepared. And here I was underprepared. <laughs> I was like, dang it, dude, go listen yeah. to your own advice. <laughs> yeah. um, you know, like, uh, how stupid do I have to be? Like, uh, it, it drove me crazy. I was like, so anyway, um, but, you know, that said, we, you know, we, we did, we made it to, to mud hole. Um, and, um, Pat, the, uh, the original founder of the race, she was there. Yeah. Um, that was cool. That was super cool. Yeah. Yeah. She gave a great, um, you know, pre-race talk about, you know, where this came from being the second oldest hundred. That was kind of cool. Yeah. Um, to hear her talk and, and this is, you know, a family event. So I, I really can appreciate that. Um, so that was neat, but that next section, man, um, 
Gosh, you know, I mean, we, you know, we had a moment where we were singing uh, tribute by uh, <laughs> uh, Tenacious, <laughs> Tenacious D. D yeah. uh, it was a little uplifting moment, you know, yep, but uh, yep. I, that, you know, that section just like, it just seemed long. <laughs> like, you know, it, it was like, I was, I was, was definitely feeling the miles by that point. And, uh, um, but that brought us into um, Elizabeth Furnace. Yeah. Uh, and I, I, <laughs> I, and I don't know how you were feeling there in that section, but like I said, I, I was definitely worn out. <laughs> you were. Yeah. Like I knew too. I was, I, I was like concerned, um, uh, but did, you know, you didn't want to say anything um, because when we were on some trail and you were like, I, I just, I don't want to run this side. I'm not sure that I don't want to, I think you said like, uh, I'm not sure I can, yeah. yeah, I don't want to injure myself. I don't want to get hurt. Um, and, and where I, and I was like, dang, this is like, I think the first time where I f- feel like I'm, I could run this, I'm ready to run. And, but I was like, but you know, I was like, oh, I'm fine. You want to walk? That's fine with me, man. <laughs> like, um, cause I, I was still hurting, but, um, but I was like, dang, usually I know you'd be running this. I, fe- I felt, it seemed like at least so I was like, he, he might be hurting, but I was, you know, I knew we were getting close to Elizabeth furnace though, too. So it was like, that's all right. Like, we'll, we'll get in there. We're still going to definitely get in, in daylight. We're going to get out with, with daylight. Right. Um, we're going to be going up Sherman's and down in the dark by that point we knew. So it was like, yeah. you know, like <laughs> might as well s- s- t- take it a little bit easy right now, fuel up yeah. big time at Elizabeth furnace and then just make the big push for the, for the finish. Right, um, right. Cause still again, at that point it was like, with the with i kept doing the math like all day long it was actually kind of nice to distract me from how <laughs> crappy i was feeling sometimes um of like gosh if i keep getting this much slower on these sections like these dirt roads that where i was you know running like a nine minute mile then a 10 minute mile then i can barely even get a 13 minute mile on a flat <laughs> dirt road section oh, like gosh. it was like this isn't gonna happen <laughs> like <laughs> um so uh yeah so i but yeah, I was definitely um, just thinking like, all right, we'll get in Elizabeth Furnace. We'll we'll feel a big time. Um, yeah. But I, yeah, I, like I, I, I was hurting. I was definitely hurting heading into that section. Well, and a little bit, a little bit nervous. Uh, we, you know, we we eventually got our running legs going again, and we we ran down into Elizabeth yeah. Furnace. Yeah. Um, and then I will I will save my rest of the story for um, you know <laughs> the outro. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Because mine is a whole nother story uh, from this point forward. Uh, but why don't you go ahead and, and, you know, give us your, how it went from Elizabeth Furnace, you know, on. Okay. Um, yeah. So I got an Elizabeth Furnace and I was super excited again because my family was going to be there. All the, you know, all four kids and everything, my in-laws. Um, and uh, um, so that was just awesome. And it's a lot more open area too, you know, so like, Donald met me like kind of where we came off, you know, and he's driving along, you know, beside us and stuff. And that was cool. Um, we, we did the, we did, we got kind of a funny pick me up. We did the way in. Um, and I, she checks my way. She's like, Oh, you're doing good. Um, and I don't know why, but those words were just like, Oh, thank you. It's like, I feel like I'm trying so hard. And I feel like I'm doing so terrible. Like, but all she meant was, you know, you must be, you know, like, you know, you're yeah. not way under or way over. Like, right. but it yes. just it was like so nice to hear. Um, yeah. but anyways, yeah, I, um, I sat down and, uh, I, there I drank an entire, uh, I think a 24 ounce bottle of like, I have this spring drink. Um, uh, I just downed the whole thing. Um, I think I even drank some ginger ale that Hope had too. Um, I mean, I just was like, okay, I'm not going to make the same mistake as I did at Little Fort. I'm going to eat and drink a ton. I think I ate like half an avocado sandwich. I must have ate half a watermelon probably too. Um, <laughs> was just crushing food um, and and drink. And uh, and then took more with me, more real food too, more uh, that that I had ready. Um, so I took a bag of watermelon with me. I do these olive like hummus wraps. I took a couple um, that I cut in half. Then I took a couple of those with me, um, so that I could even keep eating some of that real food. And I was just liking that more because it's more salty than the sweet gels, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, I, I uh, crushed all of that, and then I knew after Sherman's there's just, uh, and then you have another climb after that, but a lot of the rest of the race, it, um, it, from like mile 86 on, well, all of it from 86 on is those dirt roads again. And I knew like, that's just been my downfall lately. Um, so I was like kind of 
itching to get out of there uh, thinking too that you're you you look so strong on the roads compared to me uh, and you know uh, that was where we would accord and a lot i'd get behind so i was like he's going to catch me once we get on those roads and i don't want to be holding him back um from getting 24 hours so so i was kind of itching to get out of there even though i knew you guys weren't weren't ready yet um <laughs> the whole time too, though, by the way, I didn't want to say it because I was like, I'm just going to jinx it then and eat my words. I've been looking forward to Sherman's Gap. Um, as you know, I'd done that section before and that is just my jam. Just a, a <laughs> just a steep climb, grinding out. You, you can't go, nobody can go that fast on it. And, and I just like it. I just get in a low gear and I can just go. I know I don't, you know, I need to stop or, um, yeah, I just, I, I was just really looking forward to that section. Um. And sure enough, yeah, I left Elizabeth Furnace. I was totally rejuvenated. The family was just so cool, you know, screaming and like, you know, they totally were like, you got this, you're going to do this. You're, you're t- so going to do this. Um, and that was just really helpful. It was just like, yes, like I, I have to do this. Like you guys came out here. My, my in-laws dragged the kids, <laughs> not dragging, they wanted to come, but like, you know, I had to deal with all of that. Hope has been amazing. Um, and she was on top of it at Elizabeth Furnace too, like get what you need get out like because she knew too like you know you, you're kind of close you're behind on your schedule she had my schedule you know you're you're well behind now like um we got to get you out like so um and then the, the other cool thing was we were not planning on having her meet me at beach west which was like 11 miles from there uh the next crew stop we were just going to have her meet me at uh 770 again which was at mile like 90 91 um but i said to her i was like do you think you could try to f- figure out like how to get to beach west because i had i had gps pinned all the other stuff but i didn't do that when she, i was like i think i'm just gonna need it it'll just help and she was like yeah yeah I'll, I'll get there um so that was just helpful too knowing that i would see her not too long um so yeah i i um i left there man i was just running i just ran all the trails uh leading up even even some of the uphill stuff i was running um and i was like just before it got too rocky and steep um and just feeling uh, really, I did see a snake along the way though, by the way, um, not a rattlesnake, a copperhead actually. Um, <laughs> but, um, uh, yeah, cr- cruising along, um, felt great. Uh, hit the climb, um, still felt like f- felt even better then. Cause you know, you're not running anymore. So you're just hiking. Um, and I just was, I mean, on a mission, man, I just was head kind of down, just grinding up that climb. Um, got up it downhill is definitely not my jam. <laughs> um, I just, um, so like I passed a bunch of people on the climb and many of them then passed me on the descent. <laughs> um, <laughs> cause I just take it easy. I, 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 so I guess I'm a little maybe nervous about rolling an ankle and stuff. Cause that happened, <laughs> that happened twice, uh, um, with like, I'm pretty bad, um, in, in my training leading up to this. Um, so, uh, So yeah, I'm kind of picking my way down and stark by that point too, obviously. Um, um, but then, uh, and then we go, you're on a dirt road for, uh, 1.8. Um, and I was thinking of you then too. I was like, oh man, I forgot to warn him that there's a lot of climbing on this, this darn (laughs) one point, this darn like two miles. And if you remember in the, uh, pre-race briefing, uh, Ray, the race director said, it'll be the longest 1.8 miles of your life. (laughs) And and it it can, it can definitely feel like that. Um, but then they have an aid station. Uh, oh gosh, actually another thing that saved me, I was out of water again though. And I was like, oh my gosh, here we go again. But thankfully they, (laughs) one of the aid, I got air quotes here. I know they can't see it. Someone's like us aid stations, uh, at the bottom of Sherman, is was literally just a big jug of water, like a like a gas can, big huge thing of water, and a thing of cookies. But I mean, it saved me, man, because I was I had been out of water for a while, and I desperately needed it. And thankfully, I had caught up to a dude that had a um, safety runner with him, so he was able to pour. Because I the thing is so hard to manage when I got my collapse, you know, my soft flask. Yeah. And I, right. So yeah, so that filled me up. Um, and then you got that one point eight to Veach East. Um, and they had burgers, which I would, I, like, I was talking to you, you know, how are you eating like a bread, egg bacon sandwich? I was like, I don't think I could do that, man. That burger was the best thing I've <laughs> ever had. I would have never thought I would eat a burger on a run, um, and been able to stomach it and felt better because of it. But oh my gosh, man, I crushed that thing. Um, had like a whole Coke. Um, 
um, you know, basically had like a value meal from a fast food restaurant while I was there and just felt great. Uh, so, and then that's another, that's a, it's a really good climb. Um, and you're on trail, you're back on trail. You're on like the Tuscarora trail. Um, Mm -hmm. and then you get up to, to the Massanutten trail again. So, I mean, it's a, it's a nice climb. And so again, it's just my jam. I just felt great. I'm just cruising up it. Um, a lot of these people that passed me on the downhill, I passed them again (laughs) going uphill. Um, and then they passed me again on, on, cause then you come, you come down that into Veach West. Um, so I came into Veach West, um, that's mile 86 hopes there. They got, um, the aid stations, by the way, in the night, uh, like Veach East Veach West, um, they were great, man. They had, they were solid, like, like Veach West. Then I came in, he had pierogies, potatoes. Right. <laughs> um, yeah, a bunch of good, good stuff. Um, I had some, some pierogies and potatoes, um, and hope was there. She had made it fine. She was right there. She had all my stuff ready for me. And she, she you know, she, she's just awesome. Like, like I said, it's her first time, you know, doing this. Um, she's not a, she's not like a, you know, ultra runner or anything like that. So this, you know, um, this is all pretty new to her, but she was just, you know, talking to people there and, you know, to ask them about timing and everything. So she knew they were like, yeah, you got to get him. Don't let him sit long. Don't let him stay long. You got to get him in and out. So she, she did, man. She had all my stuff ready. And I was on a mission by this point. (laughs) Um, I, you guys hadn't caught me yet. I was like, I'll get some more distance. But then she had said to, that was when she told me like that something had happened. Um, and, and that you, she was like, I'm not sure that if he's, if he's, he, he might not even be on, on, you know, still in it anymore. Um, which was, you know, definitely a bummer. Um, and, and, you know, there, there, it was, you know, a little bit deflating to hear that definitely, but like, I was just so, uh, like single focused by that point. It was like, I mean, I really I, like, yeah, I was just on a complete mission. I just got my, you know, some food. Um, I took some more watermelon and some more of my wraps and, and, uh, I had these avocado sandwiches too that I made, and, um, stayed up on the hydration. It was, it was night too. So it was cooling off. Um, in fact, I, I got a little bit too cold, uh, cause my bottles were so cold because from ice she had, um, from ice she had put it on. But anyways, um, yeah, I was in and out of each West pretty darn quick. Um, she had hope had me in and out of there. Um, and then, uh, it was just a mission. And I didn't say this to her, um, uh, because again, I was like, I don't know, it's, it's a long shot and I'm I, like, it, 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 you know, but, but, uh, I was like, I could, I, if I can really push, I could maybe get under 23 still. Like, whereas before I thought 24 was slipping away, you know, but it was like, um, I was like, if, if I can push on these, these dirt roads and that last climb up Woodstock tower and then down, um, I could maybe make uh, sub 23, but, but it was like, but it's literally going to be, I can't let up for even a minute. Like I've got to just push every single step of the way. So then it was an internal debate the whole time too. Of, do I really want to do that? <laughs> like, because at this point, like, um, but, it, but, uh, so, but it was like, but either way, you know, I, if I start suffering on those dirt roads and everything's hurting and I start slowing down like before, then I'm going to be right back in the, issue of 24 slipping away. So, um, so I just was kind of head down, just cruising, running everything I could, even the slight uphills, um, just pushing and pushing and pushing. Um, and then it's nice too, because you see them, you see your crew at 86 and then you see them again at, uh, nine, like 91. So it's only like four and a half, five miles later not that long so you don't have to carry a ton and i can get more you know more real food again and um so those dirt road sections i just well quote hammered i mean you know for for that late in the race i just i was was running on better than i ran the dirt roads you know from mile 30 to whatever like um and i felt um just strong for the first time since like you know my the first 20 miles really um, yeah. And I came into, uh, 770 and 758, um, that, that crew stopped. That's at like mile 91. And again, hope was just on point, had everything ready. I don't even think I sat down. I know. I know I didn't. She just hated me my stuff. I took, tossed my trash, um, chugged, you know, chugged some, 
some drink. Um, and, uh, she was like, I think literally like just pushing me out, like, yo, go, go, you got this, you got this, you're going to do this. Like, you know, she was like, so excited too. Cause she knew like you're back, you, you know, you're back on for her. I think it was like, you're back on track for 24. And then for me, it was like, I could maybe still get 23. Maybe, <laughs> maybe <laughs> like it was just still so tight. Cause you know, you got that climb, you still got to go up and get up Woodstock tower. And then for me, the downhills were just hurting so bad. It was like, I got to get down it then too. Um, and then be able to run through town. Um, so yeah, it was just, uh, um, I, I hit Woodstock tower and I was just pushing, I mean, every single step of the way I, I was catching all those dudes again that I, that had passed me on the downhills. Um, and they're, you know, they're like, man, you're, you know, like you're, you're strong on the, uh, uphills, but I could barely even get any words out because I was just pushing I you know, I was like, I'm just trying to, just trying to get there, man. I, I want to just push all the way to the end. Cause some of them were like, ah, man, we got 24. I'm just going to kind of cruise it. in. I was like, I'm going to push, man. I'm just going to keep pushing. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. So I did, I just kept pushing. Um, it was, um, getting up Woodstock tower was, was nice. I, I, I just like climbs. I love going uphill. Um, so that felt great. And then, you know, you hit that's mile nine, you know, around mile 93, 94 ish. Um, you start downhill and it's that wall that, that climb we came up, mm -hmm. um, you know, after four miles, it's so long forever down. It's so steep. Um, yeah. it's, and it's, some of it's paved and you're just pounding. Um, and I mean, every single step hurt so bad. Um, but, um, I just, you know, kept doing the math constantly. I was like, you, you gotta keep hitting those. Like, I think I was needing to hit like, you know, 11 minute between 11 and 12 minute miles. Like just don't, don't go slower than 12 minute miles. Like, um, which should be so easy on the downhill, <laughs> but, <laughs> but, um, but it was that, that, that downhill was hurting so bad. Uh, oh, even yeah. that was a stretch. And then it was like, all right, now on the roads, you know, you gotta be, you know, hitting closer to like 10 minute miles or something, um, to be able to hit the 23. Um, so yeah, it, then it was just a push. And the thing was, it was such a, I had to push so much the whole time through, you know, there's no, uh, there was no time to really be like, this is happening. Like I'm going to, I'm going to finish a hundred miles. It was more just like, just keep going, just keep going, just keep going. <laughs> which again, kind of like I, you know, like I was talking about, like uh, I like ambitious goals and just going for it. That's just what I enjoy. Like I just mm -hmm. like doing that. So it was just awesome. Like the night was perfect. It was a perfect night for running. Nice. Um, it was cool. It was, you know, the heat was gone. Um, all of a sudden hydration was so easy, you know, cause you don't need to drink two bottles every hour or less. Um, and, uh, the stars were out, um, coming down with sock too. It was cool. So you see, you can see all the lights and you know, that's where you're heading. Um, okay. and, uh, yeah, it was just awesome. I'm just hammering away, you know, suffering. <laughs> um, but, but just feeling great though too. Um, because I, you know, I'm right on that edge of like, I might accomplish this, I, but I might not. And that's just a fun, it's just a cool place to be, you know? Um, so, um, yeah, it was just cool. I'm just pushing and pushing and pushing. And it's like it, 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 every mile it's like, it's happening. It's getting closer. It's happening. It's happening. You know, like I just, you know, um, and then, yeah, sure enough, I get into town and, um, uh, taking those roads and I can, you know, you start to see the, um, the fairgrounds, Shenandoah fairgrounds. And then it was like, Oh my gosh, man, like I'm going to do this. Like I'm going to get under, I'm going to, I'm going to finish hundred miles and I'm going to get that under 20. It was, but it was funny is I, I was more fixated on that under 23. It was like, I was like, <laughs> it was thunder miles. kind of like, I'm going to get that time. I'm going to get under 23. <laughs> and then you have that darn, I don't want to curse on your podcast, man, but that damn lap around the track, man, that thing is long. <laughs> like you come in it's so long it's like yes. all of a sudden i was like shoot I'm, am i gonna miss it like no no but i but by that point i was like just you know cruising running as practically as hard as i can um because i and i was just so so excited um so relieved <laughs> too um but just really like yeah excited uh and then uh just that uh, just a wave of gratitude that like anytime I've ever accomplished anything really big, that's always 
the first, I think, feeling that it gives just like a, a massive wave of gratitude, just like pours over a view of, of like, um, getting to do this, all the people, you know, that, that helped, uh, make it possible. My wife, and, uh, <laughs> man, sorry. <laughs> um, right. yeah, but just like, cause it's not like, like, you know, intimately well, it's not just that day that made it possible. You know, the uh, ridiculous hours that I've spent on trails, <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, the, uh, you know, so many weekend mornings where she's having to get up with the kids in the morning where she could be sleeping in. Cause I'm out on a trip, you know, the trail plugging away. <laughs> um, so, um, and then, you know, family helping with the kids and, um, all my family too is following along on, uh, text that hope's been doing and they're all like excited and i think many of them even stayed up like to see how I, if, if if i made it you know um so yeah that just wave of gratitude was just oh man it was really cool um and then i crossed that finish line and every single inch of my body hurt <laughs> it was like, and i could barely walk and i was like wait how was i just running like a second ago i can't even walk <laughs> so, uh, yeah. 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 Uh, well, it's, I mean, it's beautiful. Um, we, um, we came in, um, you know, just to make sure that we reported that, you know, I had dropped and I was like, I think that's Michael. <laughs> and Beth's like, no, I was like, yeah, I think that's Michael. And then she's like, I'll run out in the track. And I was like, yeah, I ain't running out on the track. <laughs> <laughs> it's Michael. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> I like got out of the car and I'm like hobbling over, you know? Yeah. That oh, that's awesome. cool, man. I didn't. So you, so that was why I, I didn't, I was like, dang, man, they came, like you guys came back just to see and were waiting for me to finish. Like it was, you it know, was like, I mean, we would have, you know, loved to say that that was planned. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> but, Cause we didn't know where you were. Yeah, um, exactly. But yeah. It, it, we just so happened that, yeah, you were coming around the track and I was like, I think that's uh -oh. Michael. And yeah, it was man, just, that, you know, what? you got to put the alignment, man. <laughs> yeah, that that's just such another element of the story. How perfect. And if I hadn't pushed, you know, if I had just been like, ah, oh, I'll just come in under 24, yeah. I, you know, I wouldn't have got to see at the finish. Like, oh, that's so cool. That's It, it that, was. Yeah, it, was yeah. it was great to see that moment because I got to see you cross the finish line. So it, Yeah, that, yeah. And that, 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 that it was just, I'm just so, I was so happy too that because like, dude, like you got me through 75 miles. Like, I mean, you know, like I... I mean, I, we got, yeah, we did it together. That was, that was for sure. And yeah. you know, like it was beautiful. It was a beautiful experience. And that's what I've told everybody so far. I've gotten so many messages and people saying, I'm so sorry. Listen, there, there's, <laughs> there's absolutely nothing to be sorry for. That was a wonderful experience. I, like I had the greatest time with you. I had a beautiful day. I saw a ton of that course. My son is safe. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. You know, like th there's nothing wrong with this. As you said earlier, like, it's a journey and every yeah. piece of that journey was beautiful. I enjoyed every moment of my training. I enjoyed every moment until I dropped out. You know, yeah. other things I didn't enjoy. There, that a TV trail. I, I definitely could have you know, <laughs> probably need therapy. <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> but I mean, you know, like I said, it, it, like I, I couldn't feel better. Like I'm not upset. Like I, you know, I know people like, you know, they get upset that, you know, the, the race didn't go to its plan. That happens, you know, and, and like yeah, I've had it multiple, multiple times, <laughs> you know, like things don't go to plan sometimes. Yeah. And it's just how you deal with it. You know, like I, I'm okay. I just keep moving forward, but you know, I mean, <laughs> it to, you know, to where you left off at Elizabeth furnace, when I hopped on the scale, I was down eight pounds. Um, and oh, yeah, I had lost eight pounds yeah. and she almost didn't let me go. Um, like I could tell she was like, yeah, I was like, I'm going to go eat a meal. And like, <clears throat> you know, you said, I'm going to get going. I was like, okay, buddy. And Beth was trying to cook stuff. And, and, you know, by all means, again, I should have stayed and taken more calories, taken more fluids and just been okay with, you know, being slower, not getting 24 hours. But like, I wanted to get back on the course. I want, I would been looking forward to getting Keegan out as my safety runner. Yeah. That's, you know, that's why I was like, all right, let's, you know, let's, let's go. Um, and everything was okay. Like him and I started out just fine. We started up, you know, going up Sherman's and, um, I was okay. Like everything was good until we came to that rattlesnake. Uh, yeah. when we came to that rattlesnake, it started shaking, you know, it started and my son just peeled down the trail. He was freaked out. He hates yeah. snakes. And then it started opening its mouth and being aggressive. And that's when Dang. I put my yeah. pole on its head. And I was just like, 
all right, Kay, like it was just, it was more fatherly instinct than anything. I just yeah. reacted. I didn't yeah. think I didn't, I wasn't frightened. I just, my voice was, and he asked me, how's like, he's like, I, and I'm going to get him on the podcast. He's like, how did you stay so calm? I, I didn't have a thought in my head, except that this snake was not biting my son. So he went behind me and I said, all right, go just, you know, get up the trail and I'm, I'm it's not going to touch you. I promise. And so, you know, I, I scooted it back so that it wouldn't, you know, I tried to get it as far off the trail as I could so that if anybody else came around, it wouldn't, cause it was kind of stuck in this rock cove. And yeah. I think that's why it got aggressive. It just felt trapped. Yeah. Uh, he went around it, but he was like, he was absolutely beside himself after that. The whole experience just kind of like, you know, it, it, there was yeah. Problem. yeah. Uh, which sent me into my fatherly instinct and I started to have a panic attack. Yeah. My heart rate skyrocketed. I couldn't breathe. My face went numb. And the next mile took us an hour and 10 minutes. I couldn't move. I, I kept, I said, okay, I got to stop. I can't breathe. And like, you know, and he was just putting his arm around me. I, like I felt so bad because I knew he was, you know, he needed me to be strong at that point. But I was like, I, I like, I think I just exhausted everything I had at that point, you know, yeah. like, well, that, you were already point. so depleted. You know? Yeah. Like, <laughs> and so, you know, finally, <clears throat> came by and, and he was a family doc. And I, and I said, dude, like, you know, like, I couldn't even speak. Like I was hoarse. Like, it, like that's how much was out of me. Like I was like, I was like a frog. I was like, oh, can you just tell them that I'm number two, seven, eight, one, you know, like it was awful. <laughs> like, I mean, like, it, you know, I, I, I just couldn't talk. Everything was, yeah. I was, and uh, I was like, just tell the aid station, you know, somebody like if they could come back to make sure I don't pass out because I felt like I was going to black out at that point. Um, yeah. And so, we made our way. It's, you know, again, hour 10 for that next mile, about 45 minutes for the next mile. And finally somebody came into the trail. Uh, and you know, he's like, my truck's a quarter mile away, you know, like, you know, we, we get down there, you, you can resupply. I was like, I'm done. <laughs> like, I, you know, yeah. at this point, like, uh, you know, I, like I can't, <laughs> I don't have any more to give, you know? Yeah. Uh, and so, you know, he brought me back up to that, um, um, was it Vichy East? Um, yeah. Yeah. So we got up to East. Um, and we had to wait around for a while and that, that's probably why we had enough timing for you. We, we had to wait there for, you know, a little over an hour for somebody to come grab us. And then they okay. got us over to West to where Beth was. And then okay. we made our way to the finish line for where you okay. were. Yeah. And like I said, you know, n nothing happened, but you know, it was just everything after that point, the cicadas, everything just kind of tripped him out. Like it just reminded him of the rattlesnake, you know, and I was trying to create conversation and take his mind off of it, but yeah, it's it, dark it, and yeah, yeah, it just, you know, it was at that point, like, you know, I, I just knew it was like, it was not, not the time for me to worry about me, my race or anything. I just was more concerned with him yeah, and man. You know, like getting him back to my wife. Um, cause like that next section, it wasn't, it wasn't going to be possible. I mean, like we could have done it, but it probably would have taken us hours to yeah. get through, you know, that, that next five miles. Like you said, that 1.8 to the aid station was like straight up hill and then single track. Like I was moving like a snail. So, um, you know, I, I just decided it, it was in best interest of, you know, for the race, especially to not put anybody else at risk. If something happened to me, cause like I said, I, I thought I was going to pass out. Like my, my vision was closing in. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, we just got back to that and then we just sat in his truck and both of us just kind of passed out, um, <laughs> you know, and we had like, it finally, like, you know, when the guy came, we, we hopped in, I felt better, you know, like I felt a little bit more revitalized cause I had some food and drink and stuff, but there was no way that, you know, I could have, I could have pressed on. Uh, so yeah, it was, <laughs> it was the right decision. It was the right call, you know, yeah, like, man. I mean, it was the safe thing to do for all Definitely. involved, myself, my son, the race, you know, like, I mean, it being an old school race, I can, I can totally respect their values and what they, um, what they've done as, as a historical event, but some things definitely, I would say need to be updated for safety, you know, um, you know, like it's just with, you said, like, I was expecting somebody to be at that aid station where you said there was just water. Yeah. Like I was expecting that to be a, you know, a staffed aid station. Yeah. And there was, there was nobody there. And like, yeah. and that's, that's this, you know, they give you a safety runner for that portion because it's so dangerous. Like, yeah. you know, like I would suggest that they had staff there, you know, that yeah. if anything happened, like in my case, cause I, I still would have had another two miles to the next aid station and I was yeah. already like in, in you know, bad shape. So yeah, I, you know, no, I, you're right. And I had that conversation with the gentleman that gave me the ride. We were talking about things and stuff like that. And, just kind of like suggesting some of the things, you know, that, that I saw that, you know, probably could use a little bit of a, a safety update um, just from my perspective as a race yeah. director. 
Um, and like, you know, he's like, well, they're, they're so old school. I was like, I get that, but you know, this is a new age and people, <laughs> <see it. laughs> like, unfortunately that's, you know, that's it's very true. Reality. It's not going to be me. <laughs> yeah. Like I, you know, like I, I totally understand it, but uh, you know, but yeah, it is like, you know, it, I was, I, I mean, the course was amazing. Um, I, you know, I really, I, I would go back, um, for sure. Like I, yeah. I, I would love to finish that one. I would hope for a cooler year, <laughs> uh, but, um, you know, anything that you took away, like what were some of the things that you were like, you know, I, I really need to work on this. Um, you know, what, what things do you think you could dial in a little bit better? Um, <clears throat> there's a few things. Uh, I think for, for that course in particular, I would do a lot more like dirt road running um, beforehand um, t- just to get used to it. And I would do some, I would try doing some long runs on just dirt roads because um, mm-hmm. all my long runs are on trails. Um, I mean, you know, near my house, um, mm-hmm. well, not trails, trail, the one, tra- I do like literally all my long runs just on this one same trail because <laughs> <laughs> it's close to the house. It's just easy. Yep. It's quick as oh, I yeah. get to. But um, yep. I would do I would do some long runs on on dirt roads too, um, to get to get used to that because that just would beat me up a lot. Um, I, this year was hard. You, I I wanted to do some like heat, you know, running like running in the heat to acclimatize. Um, but I there just wasn't a lot of heat uh, leading no, up to right. the race this year. No. Like the weekend before the race was like fifty five degrees. <laughs> right, um, right, right. And so like, yeah, I tried every chance I could to, if I could run in the afternoon instead of the morning. Um, but I, it still wasn't enough. Um, so I would maybe even do some, some sort of artificial stuff, maybe like run and then jump in a sauna if I could or something, Mm -hmm. I don't know, something to acclimatize, maybe better to be more prepared for that. Um, I would, um, my nutrition plan would be a little bit different. Um, I would be ready and prepared to eat more, um, at the crew stops and carry some of that stuff with me to supplement like my every 25 minutes sort of gel, whatever intake. Um, cause that helped me. And every, after every crew stop, I'd feel really good for a little bit. And then it was like right back down to the low. So it was like, it's gotta be, <laughs> you know, nutrition and hydration. <laughs> like, yeah, um, yeah. <clears throat> so, um, but I did hear that from other people too. Like I, one dude towards the end that I, that I uh, was running with, it was just like, he's asking how I was feeling. Cause I was feeling pretty strong and look and going pretty strong. And I was asking him, he's like, ah, oh, man, I just, he's like, I've, I've been dead and come alive so many times on this race, <laughs> um, which is a good way to put it. It was like, that was exactly, yeah. There's been so many times where I was just dead and then come back alive somehow. But um, yeah, so I would, I would sh- switch that up. And then I think if I did that, I could spend less time in the, in the crew stops. Hope and I talked about some stuff already. She was already, you know, talking about how she could dial in stuff. Um, even like little things like just, she would have, um, just a little bin that had everything that I needed just so that I don't, you know, have to look in anything, you know, it's just like anything I want is right there. I just grab, um, and then, uh, rather than having to go into sort of the big bin where it all is located, um, right. and, uh, um, and a little cooler, like a little portable cooler to bring the cold stuff even too. So that way, um, I didn't have to go back to the car at all. She just have it at the trailhead maybe or something, um, right. or the road crossing. Um, but yeah, uh, that's probably, those are the, some of the, the biggest things. And then I would, <laughs> if it is a hot year, I'd maybe carry a third bottle, um, mm-hmm. honestly. And, and maybe some sort of electrolyte drink. So I did, uh, as you know, all water, um, which I like still because for, for some reason, usually on runs, eventually I stop wanting to drink the electrolyte drink while I'm running. I don't know what it is. I, I, every single run I've ever done, eventually long run, uh, longer runs, longer races, even, mar- even mar- road marathons. Eventually I just stop wanting it. And so I, it's really hard to get it down. So that's why I went to all water, but maybe I'd maybe carry a third bottle with some sort of electrolyte drink. Um, yeah. Uh, just to supplement if, if it's a hot year, at least like that. Yeah. yeah um, yeah. so, uh, to try uh, and, 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 or just drink more at the aid stations, um, between crew stops, um, um, which would mean if, it, if I drink some of the Gatorade, I'd probably try to train with that. Cause I typically don't, don't like Gatorade too much. Um, 
Uh, yeah. So it, yeah, um, mm. those would be probably the big things though. Um, yeah. But and uh, and it is funny. I'm already like I kind of do want to do it. I, I definitely want to do it again at some point just to <laughs> just to see because I feel like I, there's a bunch of things I could improve on. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, it's, you know, like I said to you, I, I suck at hundred milers. That's why I keep doing. It. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't feel there's any mastery there at all. So <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's it's you know that that next one you're always wondering you know what's what's going to be different, what's gonna what's going to change, what you know. So yeah, uh, they're always they're always different, man. And yeah. Uh, what what has recovery looked like for you? How, what did you uh, what did you do post race? And uh, what did because uh, we're we're recording on Monday? You finished um, obviously early on Sunday morning. Yeah. Uh, so w- what happened after the race? What what did that look like? Did you get some food in you? Yeah, um, yeah. I, like I said, I literally could like I barely walk. Everything hurt. I mean, just everything. <laughs> my, my knees, my hips, my hip flexors, my calves, my ankles. <laughs> I couldn't flex my one foot at all. It was and it was super swollen. I don't know what the heck was going on with that. Um, so like I could, I literally, I was just hobbling, man. Um, and I uh, got back to the hotel room. Hope, hope you know, <laughs> helped me get in the car and get back. Um, and. Uh, I mean, I could, I could barely get in and out of the shower. It was just rough. And so my, my first thought was like, uh, I don't think I should ever do this again. This was a bad <laughs> idea. Like, like I, 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 cause I was like worried. I was like, I'm going to be like immobilized tomorrow when we get home, she's going to have to do everything with the kids. And I was like, this is, what was I thinking? Like, <laughs> um, but, um, yeah, so I did, I, I, uh, once I showered up, I did eat like half of a Italian hoagie that I had saved at the hotel room. Um, nice. and that, that hit the spot and was awesome. And then, uh, and I, I got something to drink, um, just water, actually. I just drank some water. Um, and then I just crashed, um, and I was out, uh, like just like a light. And so is hope. Hope actually described it. She was like, literally, like if I could use one word to describe like that night's sleep, it's just black. Like I was just, <laughs> there was nothing, but just <laughs> sleep, like yeah, no dream or not like, you know, just like, because uh, and my alarm went off. So they do the awards breakfast at nine, um, to give you your buckles and stuff. And uh, I set my alarm for eight. Um, and I did hear it go off. I woke up and I hit snooze and I was like, it's eight. We got plenty of time. We're like two minutes from the place. Uh, so I hit snooze and then I hear it again and it's nine twenty. <laughs> it's like, what happened? <laughs> so, uh, so yeah. Um, and, but yeah, I got out of bed and surprisingly I felt, uh, pretty good actually the next day i was i couldn't believe it like i don't yeah like in fact so much that when when ray the race director called me up the awards the awards breakfast is actually really fun so they they read off you know they i don't know when they start because we got there late they were already (laughs) at 24 hours and under um so i don't know if they start at 28 but um they read the name off uh they read your time and your name and you come up and they even give you the mic so you can like say a little something um yeah it's really nice and there's a breakfast homemade food there you know um it was good food um yeah but but when i went up ray was even like are you sure you ran yesterday you're walking pretty well like i was like (laughs) walking fine all of a sudden um so um yeah so it felt pretty good but um but uh if i would sit uh (laughs) for long things would stiffen up and i would hurt um and so as the day progressed that got worse and worse and worse and then today this morning was the worst oh my gosh like <laughs> i got out of bed i almost like fell over because <laughs> like, everything was just just so stiff and sore um but once i get moving i i feel okay um and like i said the kids don't let me sit too long so um so uh, yeah as the um i went for a walk yesterday with the boys and um, it's a steep climb out of our house up a gravel hill, um, which that was hurting. But um, uh, but I think that helped. And then, like I said, um, running around the boys and I were it was a hot day here, so we were uh, we had the squirt guns out. And we were having like a squirt gun battle. Um, they're like running around. And I'm like hobbling. <laughs> um, so so I'm like an easy target, of course. I'm getting <laughs> nailed. <not> so. <laughs> but um, but no, but being on my feet like that helped a lot. Um, I think because so yeah. now I've I've been Good. I'm feeling a lot better. Um, Good. not not feeling too sore or anything like that. Um, Good, man. Yeah. What, what place did you end up coming in overall? I, 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 have, I have no idea. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't look. Um, I didn't ask. That's I didn't funny. listen for how many runners were because we stayed the whole time all, all the way through Olivia. Won it. Um, 
What did he end up running? Do you know? What did he end up running? Yeah, do you remember? Ah, man. 17, 20 something, I want to say maybe. It's online. They posted it. Um, It it sounds like it was an awesome race. So the guy that was in second was his first 100. Um, He ended up, uh, you know, he was, I think, you know, uh, early on, like as much as 45 minutes behind, but just Mm -hmm. kept closing and closing and closing. They hit the track. Like they were on the track at the same time. Oh, wow. Uh, He ended up finishing like a minute 15 behind him. Um, Really, really pushed him all the way to the end. Yeah, it sounds like it was a really good race. That's um, awesome. Yeah, Jasmine ended up getting second, second female. Awesome, um, she had a great race. She was under twenty two. Um, wow. That's fantastic. Yeah, she she crushed that once she left. Once she left our slow bus behind, she just crushed it. <laughs> <that. laughs> like, um, yeah. So, um, That's awesome. Uh, yeah, I, but I have no idea what place. I I I, I hope say so. she's like she thinks maybe she was like she was like I think maybe you were top fifteen, but I was like I don't know. There's like that, t- my t- twenty two fifty three usually is pretty, you know, far down. Like twenty, you know, maybe top thirty, but um, but yeah, I don't know yet. So. Yeah, they, they don't have them posted yet. Um, so we'll we'll find out. But um, no. I just looked through Ultra Sign Up and on the website, and it hasn't been updated yet. So yeah. Um, but um, no, that's that's tremendous, man. That's that's awesome. I, you know, so I was very very happy to see you cross that finish line and you know, know that you made it under, uh, under 23, especially. So congratulations to you on your first hundred, your first buckle. I, yeah, man, uh, thank I do you. hope you take another crack at it somewhere. It doesn't necessarily have to be old dominion, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I hope to see you, you get back after it. So, yeah, uh, you know, well de- deserved recovery. Um, anything else on the, uh, the docket? I know Donald's going to want to do some, some racing here soon. We were kind of talking about that. <laughs> oh yeah, man. Yeah. He is. It- yeah like he is just ready to race man so we um we have a little local fourth of july race that we'll we run every year they didn't have it last year obviously um so they're having it this year in person so we'll be there um so i'll be the first one and then um we're th- i don't i don't know that we can even get into marine corps marathon uh anymore i have no idea i haven't you know been looked into it at all um so we're thinking maybe if we can't get into that richmond a marathon for the fall um and we'll do some racing in between there 5ks okay. 10ks whatever we can whatever we can whatever's happening and we can get into um we'll we'll do um but with the big one being probably um probably richmond marathon um, okay. hope, if we can get into that one too i don't know maybe um so um yeah. and then uh after that i don't know you know he loves racing so much um <laughs> It's hard to balance training for a hundred mile tra- trail race, you know, yeah. um, and, and with uh, like a road marathon or, or if we want to k- keep doing the triathlon. So might have to, well, I might have to talk to him about like, uh, Hey, give me, how about give me spring, you know, till early summer. And then, uh, <laughs> you know, so, um, but there, there is actually, there's a hundred miler dude that someone, uh, um, it, it, uh, a rider athlete completed. Um, oh, wow. think, uh, yeah. It, um, it was on the cover of Ultra Running, maybe. What? Where? Yeah, like oh, a few you know, years ago. Um, it might have been. Oh, gosh, I I think I remember seeing the picture of that. Yeah. Um, and the weather looked awful too. My goodness. Yes. Uh, yes, I, I did. Story. Yeah, I do remember the story. I want to say um, it was in like maybe Kansas or something. So it was like mostly like just crushed, like a or yeah, all. A crushed, yeah, like, I think it was like a like kind of a rail to trail. Yep. Um, uh, race. I think you're right. Uh, I yeah. do remember that story. Yeah, the rider athlete wrote the article. Um and, and uh it's coming back to me now. Yeah. So uh I've he and I've like talked about that. Like what if we did that, you know, a hundred miler together? Um yeah. so, although wow. pff, those gravel roads, man, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> my, my nemesis maybe. <laughs> um, but but yeah, so we'll see. Yeah, man. Awesome. Well, you know, grindstones this fall. Um, you know, you're, you're around for pacing. You let me know. Um, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm all, I'm down. <laughs> I would love to. <laughs> so I, I will keep you posted on that. Yeah, man. Um, 
well, and you know, Michael, as always, thank you for your time. Uh, congratulations once again. Fantastic. Thanks, man. You know, it's so proud of you. That was, that was phenomenal. And I'm so glad I got to be, you know, around you for so long of it. You know, thanks for, Same. you know, for not putting me in the ground too much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, right. I certainly, uh, you know, I appreciate you brother. Um, and, uh, you know, give, give big hugs to your family for me. It was tremendous to see them as well. Um, it was, it's just been, it was such a joyful experience all around. So thank you. Man. Yeah. Thank you. Same, same, same to you, man. Uh, please. It was awesome meeting your family and just dude, thanks for all you do. The, you know, like I, I you, like, yeah, just thanks all you do for the running community, man. Um, I get, you know, I, I've learned so, so much I, 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 as well prepared as I was so much of it is because of how much stuff you put out there for, <laughs> for us. I feel like I should be paying you as a coach, like how much, you know? <laughs> so, um, yeah. So thanks, man. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, dude. Yeah. So once again, man, Michael, he finished 17th overall. Results were finally posted. Um, just an incredible performance, an incredible day. Um, you know, we we've we were talking after the the, the interview, um, and you know, I said, "Listen, um, grindstones in the fall. That's you know, that's where I'm I'm gunning for next. I'd love to have you out there, you know, crew and pacer, um, and uh, I hope you can come out. Um, I I also can't I can't say enough." Um, when we saw Donald uh, <laughs> and his joy, um, you know, I think I think even my wife was emotional, <laughs> and I heard her talking to a friend on the phone about the experience, and I could tell she was she was welling up a little bit um, just to see Donald and how joyous and uh, celebratory he was to see us, you know, um, and his his recognition of me and. Uh, you know, just the, the pride of, of his father and, and what he was doing. Um, it really was a truly amazing moment. And to share that time with my son um, in my time of need and to have the experience that we did on the trail and to to know that I had enough in me to protect my son, it, it meant the world to know that there was nothing that I would have done or everything I would have done to protect my son. You often wonder about when push comes to shove, how far you would go for those you love. And not to say that my life was in any danger from that snake. Maybe it was, but that didn't matter. You know, there was no fear in my heart, only just the instinct to protect. And that having taken me out of the race, I don't think I could have done anything else that day. I think I was completely spent after that. And I think I needed to be with my son, so... Yeah, I, as I said in the beginning, I knew I couldn't get through this without emotion. Um, I thank you for letting me get it out. This recording is its obviously not just for you guys. It is for me, for my family, for our prosperity. I, you know, I want them to be able to hear these things in the future and know what they mean to me. Uh, and, you know, to Michael... Those miles meant so much. It was an amazing journey. And, you know, as I kind of said on social media, I'm getting it together now. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, as I said on social media, I have such a great journey. It's It's been years, years of this journey. It's It's not just the day. It's not just Old Dominion. It's not just that race day. It's been every day that's led up to that. I've been so many places, raced so many races. You know, I've, I've trained and trained and done miles and run all over the place. And it, you know, it's just the joy of running. It's simple. Like that's, that's what it is. I, I don't think that people can understand. Like <laughs> when you say, uh, you know, I went to run a hundred miles, they always say, why? Well, 
it's a challenge. That's one, right? There's, there's always the challenge of, of what you can do, how far you can push yourself. Michael said it, you know, he said it really well. Um, you want to just see how far you can take yourself. And that's part of it. Obviously a huge part of it is, is just, I love it. I love running. I love being out there. I love being in nature. I love just moving on my own accord on my own two feet for far distances and seeing new things and meeting new people. I shared so much time with Jasmine and I really enjoyed running with her. She's such a competitor and such a runner. Um, you know, she, uh, (laughs) she does what she can for training. Um, and then just goes out and rips a heck of a hundred mile race in tough conditions. Phenomenal. So cool. Um, but you know, the reality is the journey. Like I love the journey. I love the day in and day out. I love waking up. I don't mind waking up early and going running. Like I don't mind running in the dark, cold, you know? Yeah. I don't like the cold and rain, but, (laughs) um, it's, you know, when people ask me, why do you run? It's just because I love it. You know, um, it's, it's definitely a part of me. Um, why do I do a hundred miles? Just, you know, it's a new challenge for me. Um, as I said to Michael, I'm not good at a hundred miles. You know, I was, I was a track runner, uh, a miler, a steeplechaser, you know, I mean, we're talking another 99 to 98 miles, <laughs> uh, you know, on top of my comfort zone. Um, I was never, never a good 10 K runner, <laughs> um, to give you perspective, you know, um, the, the marathon was tough for me. It was challenging. I mean, you know, two twenty sevens my PR and, uh, you know, maybe I, I could have ran faster, but I just felt I needed a new challenge. So I moved up and I continued to move up. I went up to 50 K and eventually 50 mile. And then, you know, moved up in 2016, finally to the, the hundred mile, but that took me eight years, you know, from going from 50 K up to a hundred miles. I, and I don't think people understand the, you know, the, the amount of time that it took me to get up to that. Um, you know, we all see the hundred mile as this new challenge. It's, it's, and it is, it's great. And, you know, um, we put such, uh, importance on, on our goals and that's, that's okay. It's great to have goals. Obviously it is, but understand it's just a piece of the journey. You know, the, there's no failure in, in, in not finishing it. It's, uh, you know, it's an attempt. It's, you know, it's, it's what you can do on that day. It's one given day and it may not happen that day. And that's part of the, you know, that's part of the journey. That's part of the trial. Um, you know, as, as one of my favorite books says, the trial of miles, miles of trials, it's, uh, it's mile after mile and putting them in and logging them down. And, and, you know, the goal will happen someday. I'll go back to old dominion and I want to get that buckle. Um, just as I want to go back to Bighorn and, and earn my, uh, rusty spur, <laughs> there are things that get left out there, uh, just as it was in track for me, you know, 250 meters from the, the finish line of, of a race at the Stanford university of Stanford track, I could have qualified potentially for the Olympic trials, but I hit my knee. Um, you know, it, it's, <laughs> uh, it, it's just one of those moments that, you know, we have these things in life where things just don't go the way you planned and that's all part of it. You know, it, it can't go your way every time, you know, we fight, we struggle. That's part of it, you know, embracing the struggle. Um, it's, it's really just part of, of a life, <laughs> not only running, but life, you know, we, we can struggle in life. We can struggle in running. Uh, they parallel each other. Um, but staying positive through it, learning from it, um, you know, like, I mean, it, it wasn't, but <laughs> a few hours after I woke up that my wife and I were already discussing what the heck are we going to do differently? You know, how are we going to make grindstone more of a success? How are we going to be more efficient? What do I need to change? You know, what didn't go right? I mean, you know, there, there was a number of things, obviously, between hydration and nutrition, uh, you know, that just that were not going right. Um, and so, um, you know, I, I put myself behind the eight ball. And, you know, when you put yourself in that situation, you're going to have to fight. And I did. I fought for as long as I could. Um, but in the end, you know, it was it wasn't in the cards for me to, to finish that day. So we move on, you know, we, we look, we learn, we reflect and, uh, we keep moving forward. And that's, that's the only way to go. Just keep moving forward, learn from the mistakes, understand those mistakes, review, analyze, and plan better, execute, 
you know, we have to learn to execute. And that's, you know, I, I thought I was doing myself uh, justice by carrying uh, a lighter pack in which I wouldn't have been so hot. And in the reality, I needed to carry more capacity for carrying fluids that, you know, that was my mistake. Um, and just as I wrote an article about in my uh, June newsletter, you know, being overprepared, I was not. I did not have a larger carrying capacity pack. Um, uh, you know, that that was my error. Um, it, you know, it, it, you know, part of it came, I, I didn't know about Old Dominion until three weeks before the event. Uh, you know, I didn't have much time to plan. I did what I thought was best. And, you know, in the end, it wasn't. I learned valuable lessons, extremely valuable lessons. I'm lucky to have walked away as unscathed as I am. You know, um, I wasn't extremely dehydrated. Um, uh, you know, I, I, I'm, you got some dry needling yesterday from uh, my PT friend Miriam. And my legs are bouncing back quick. I just went for a run. You know, it's, uh, it's Wednesday, the day before I released this podcast, June uh, 9th. And my legs are okay. Uh, I had a good little run, just went super easy, kind of shaking out the run. And, uh, you know, I'm going to be fine. Um, I've already reached out to my old friend Patrick Regan and asked if, uh, if he would coach me again. Um, that, you know, we worked well together, um, and we had a conversation about everything that, that was going on the last time we worked together and, uh, what we're going to do differently this time. And, uh, you know, he's agreed to work with me again, uh, cause even coaches need coaches. <laughs> uh, you know, Patrick has his own coach and, uh, you know, it's good to have the accountability and someone looking over your shoulder just to make sure you're not doing dumb things. Um, cause you know, when you're coaching others, you can see the dumb things, but when you're coaching yourself, sometimes you don't see it. Um, I've said that in the past and I'm, I'm glad to be working with him again and, uh, to have that accountability, you know, get my butt back out there and, and get myself ready for grindstone, give myself the best opportunity to finish. Um, and we talked about 2022, my goals for 2022, um, you know, things to come and that's, that's things we'll discuss later in the podcast, uh, you know, in the future. And, um, you know, as I said, June newsletter just came out. If you haven't signed up for the newsletter, you can do so on my website, mrrunningpains.com. If you want to find out more about my coaching services, it's also on there. The old podcasts and newsletters are all archived under the connect page on the website. Um, there's a search if you want to search for anything specific. So all of the, um, newsletters and uh, podcasts are linked on there um if you haven't done so if you don't mind subscribing to the uh the podcast um leave a review if you will that's super helpful um I, you know i i really try to to do the best i can to to share you know successes and failures um and uh and be open i i'm i'm <laughs> obviously i wear my my heart on my sleeve um it's you can hear the emotion in this episode it's evident like throughout this episode intro you know the the body the interview and the conclusion here uh the you know my emotion for their for this sport for this community for you know all of you that run is it's it's extremely high i respect everyone in this sport from those that are just trying to, you know, get into it to the veterans, from, you know, anybody that races the shorter distances to the mega ultra long endurance events. It, you know, we're, we're all under the same umbrella. We all are runners um, to whatever, you know, ability, to whatever experience. It's you're all part of this family. And I appreciate, you know, all of you for, you know, being um, open with me and, and for sharing your, your sentiments. Um, but understand, I, you know, like I said in the intro, I'm not, I'm not wounded. I'm not injured. I am not upset. Um, you know, I am definitely, um, I am excited, uh, for the next event for grindstone. Um, actually my next event is, uh, the ragged mountain USA TF, um, 50k trail champs up in new hampshire uh which would be august 8th extremely excited morgan elliott's coming i can't wait to see that guy uh he's racing um tory greaves uh tory who uh set the female fkt pitchell record tory's coming up (laughs) i can't wait that's gonna be awesome uh i haven't really seen anybody else in the starters list but you know um i will be super excited to see my friends on that starting line um just a cool race uh, you know, if you have the capacity and can check it out, uh, it, you know, it's on ultra sign up. It is a three day stage race as well. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, 
uh, Sunday being the 50K championships. Uh, wicked, awesome trail. Uh, so, you know, some really great technical sections. It's a great mix of kind of service roads and uh, and single track. Uh, I warn you, if you haven't heard this in the past from me, it is an unmarked uh, course, so there are no race markings. You follow the uh, uh, the trail blazes uh, that you know are already established. So, a uh, little tricky, <laughs> but extremely cool. So, um, super excited for that. Um, so, Ragged Mountain, and then that will be followed by Grindstone. That's that's my plan. Um, do have some fall races. We'll see what those, uh, you know, um, if those come out after, uh, after grindstone, but you know, eyes are on grindstone. That's the eyes on the prize. (laughs) So, um, I do hope to get Keegan on here. Um, I'm giving him a little time to, (laughs) to rest and recuperate from his experience. Um, don't necessarily think we need to, uh, go back through old dominion unless he wants to, Uh, I'd rather hear about his track season and, and how he felt it went and what he's looking forward to in the future. Um, so I hope to get Keegan on here pretty soon. Uh, next episode, I've got Corey Keen. Corey Keen, uh, amazing. He's, you know, he's tearing up the, uh, the trails right now. Uh, he lives in Boone, North Carolina, just won the quest for the crest 50 K. Um, and, uh, you know, real great story. Uh, had a, you know, great interview with him. So he'll be next week's episode, uh, episode number 70. We're getting up there. So, um, stay tuned for that. And, you know, as always, uh, thank you guys for, for listening. Thank you for the support. And I look forward to, uh, to the next episode. Until then, keep running, my friends.